guys welcome back to my channel i'm zeni and i'll be showing you guys how i do my wash day routine as you can see my hair is dry it's freezy and it's quite tangled as you can see so what's the solution boom hair is in sections now and what am i going to do i'm going to get my spray bottle to spray water on my hair so I get my spray bottle with water and I loosen out each section I've braided out. Then I get my spray bottle, then spray a bit of water on each section of my hair, then run my hands through the roots of my hair to the ends. Spray a little bit at the ends of my hair and the roots. Then I massage my scalp, the water into my scalp. And run through it. Then I start to finger detangle. Finger detangling. I know not everyone loves finger detangling because they feel it wastes time. But finger detangling really helps with length retention because... Since I've been finger detangling, I've had less shed and less breakage during my wash day. So I recommend finger detangling. Um, this is part of my wash day routine. I always finger detangle. That's why when I do my wash day routine, I don't go out. Like I don't really do much. I do my wash day when I'm not going out or when I'm not really doing much that day. So I finger detangle my hair every wash day. very important as you can see that the hair is tangled and as i'm finger detangling i'm removing the tangles off on my hair so it's easier for me to detangle my hair maybe if i'm using a detangling brush or a white tooth comb so i recommend finger detangling so guys i'm done finger detangling i get my white tooth comb and as you can see i'm combing my hair from the ends gently guys not with force gently to moving up to the roots just taking it slow slowly as you can see taking my time and guys look at that my hair is already detangled not much stress Ooh. <laughs> i'll be doing the same thing to other sections of my hair I'm done detangling, time to shampoo. Keep in mind, when you're washing in sections, make sure you run your fingers through your scalp to see if your fingers actually is touching your scalp. Because if your fingers are not touching your scalp, then you might need to loosen out the braids a bit. I'll be using the Olive Oil Creamy Aloe Shampoo. So right now, I'm shampooing my hair. You can see that my fingers are going through my scalp. Oh, feels good. <laughs> I love massaging my scalp. I don't know. It just really feels good when I do it. Um, as you can see that my fingers are running through my scalp as I'm doing it. And you can see that I'm focusing on different sides. I'm the front, the middle, the end, the back. I mean, the back of my hair. So that is it. You need to focus on just your scalp. You don't need to focus on the ends of your hair. Just your scalp, guys. That's where you need to cleanse. Now I have rinsed out the shampoo. Time to condition my hair. Conditioning my hair, I'll be using the Tresemme. Um, I love this conditioner. I've been using it for a few months now. And it's absolutely good. And it states this particular conditioner is for dry, freeze, breakage hair. Hair that are dry. And my hair tends to get dry a lot. So... Anytime I'm picking conditioner, I really consider the type of conditioner I use. So I recommend this conditioner. So I loosen out each section of my hair. As you can see, I'm losing out the braids at that section to apply the conditioner to my hair. I don't know why it's so bright, guys. I think it's the light. Sorry about that. So as you can see, I've loosened out that section and I'll be applying the conditioner now to my hair. So now I'm applying the conditioner. I'm running through that section from the ends of my hair to the roots. I'm running my hands through from the roots to the ends. I'm massaging the conditioner to my scalp. So guys, as you can see, 
My hair is already looking soft, <laughs> even without deep conditioning. <laughs> so guys, you can see my hair. That's the section that I've added the conditioner. As you can see, my hair is already soft and moisturized, even without deep conditioning. That's why I recommend this conditioner. It's really good. So guys, I've rinsed out the conditioner. Now, time to deep condition my hair. My best part of wash day. <laughs> So guys, I'll be using the deep treatment max to deep condition my hair. I absolutely love this max because this is really good. Um, it is stated also for dry damaged hair. So I'll be applying this deep treatment max on my hair, just a small amount. Guys, you don't really need to apply too much and your hair is going to be soft and moisturized, guys. You don't need to apply too much. So I'll be doing the same thing. I'll be running the deep conditioner into my hair from the roots i'll be taking a bit to put at the end of my hair because the ends of your hair are very important guys and i'll be massaging it on my scalp a bit then running it through the ends of your hair are very important when it comes to deep condition make sure you apply enough to the ends of your hair and i'm done applying the product i would then start braiding it back up I will be braiding that section back and also doing the same thing to other sections. So I'll be doing the same thing to other sections of my hair, applying the deep conditioner to other sections. I've applied deep conditioner to other sections of my hair now it's time to steam my hair which i'll be using a plastic bag yes guys i know my plastic bag isn't the prettiest but you know <laughs> don't mind me so you can use a steam cap but i'm doing it the old school way because i don't have a steaming cap so i'm using a plastic bag instead So I'm making sure it's secured tightly on my hair. Then I get a shower cap and place it on top of the plastic bag. Yes, so that it can, the deep conditioner can penetrate into my hair shaft. So I'll be leaving the deep conditioner on my hair for 30 minutes. I don't do more than 30 minutes when it comes to leaving my deep conditioner. Hope you guys are loving the way my waist looks. If you want to see how I achieved this look, check the video up on the screen to see how I achieved my waist to be snatched, guys. <laughs> so guys, I've rinsed out the deep conditioner off my hair. As you can see. Now, time for me to apply my products. And for leave-in conditioner, I'll be using the black castor oil leave-in conditioner. And also, I use the Mega Growth Leave-In Strengthener. This is also a good daily moisturizer. As you can see, I'm applying a dime size amount, not too much, of the leave-in conditioner to that section of my hair. I'm doing the same thing. I'm running my hands through from the roots to the ends of my hair. Just taking a little bit and applying it, massaging it to my scalp. Yeah, I always massage my products on my scalp, guys. So I'm running it through, running the leave-in conditioner through, make sure it sinks in there. So next, I'll be applying my oil. I use coconut oil. Well, not everyone likes coconut oil, but... It works for my hair and it does pretty well for my hair so i use coconut oil or you can use any oil of your choice it doesn't have to be coconut oil so i'm applying the coconut oil to that section as you can see the difference like my hair is shiny can you see like it's shiny compared to the other section so i'm massaging the oil to my scalp and then running it through so next i'm using whipped shea butter just applying a dime size amount not too much guys so i'm also running it through from the roots to my ends massaging it 
to my scalp. And just running it through. Then focusing on my ends. Then I'll take a little bit of shea butter and put that on my ends, the ends of my hair. Very important, guys. So I get my rat tail comb to section that section into two. Yes, into two so that I can put my hair in a protective style. So I'm going to braid each section into a protective style for a week. As you can see, I'm braiding that section. So I'm done braiding that particular section and I'll also be focusing on the other sections doing the same to the other sections of the hair I know guys my braids ain't the best <laughs> so you can see ah, shrinkage ah. so now I'm about to apply the coconut oil to that section I've already braided the back i've already added products and braided the back as you can see why i put this video is because i am putting the oil on my on my edges like as you can see i applied the oil to my edges and the ends of my hair very important so guys i'm done i put my hair in a protective style i know guys i know my protective style my hairstyle is looking like travis scott's hairstyle <laughs> guys please don't judge me i'm gonna keep it for a week so guys, when you're going to bed in the night, make sure you tie a silk scarf or a satin scarf, scarf on your head. It's very, very important when you're going to bed so that the material on your pillowcase doesn't rip out all the moisture off your hair. So this helps to make the moisture stay on your hair. So make sure you do that or you can use a hair bonnet if you want to. So guys, this is all of my shedded hair from the beginning of my wash day to the end of my wash day guys i'm not joking with you thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and see you guys next time bye